Uh, Senator E. K. Ekrimadu and uh, Dr. Beatrice Ekrimadu. You can remain sitting for the, for the moment. You have each been convicted of conspiracy to commit an offence of human trafficking. You brought a young man to London to exploit him. The exploitation was the proposed donation of a kidney for reward. The reward was to be the payment of money and a chance to work in the United Kingdom. People trafficking across international borders for the harvesting of human organs is a form of slavery. It treats human beings and their body parts as commodities to be bought and sold. It is a trade that preys on poverty and misery and desperation. The evidence shows that those who are impoverished, often living in multidimensional poverty, desperate for a better life, and ignorant of the true risks, are sometimes willing to donate their organs for money or the chance to work in the UK. Significant risks attach to such donation without proper aftercare. You each played a part in that despicable trade. You, Abina Abeta, underwent a kidney transplant at the Royal Free Hospital in London in 2021. You said that you and your donor were cousins. That was a lie. The clinicians at the Royal Free and the independent assessors at the Human Tissue Authority were taken in by your lie. They believed that the donor was acting altruistically as a good Samaritan. The transplant went ahead. There is no evidence that the donor has been given the necessary aftercare. It is not necessary for me to make a finding as to whether you exploited the donor. But what is clear is that you learned from your experience that it was possible to manipulate and corrupt the regulatory system by using a fabricated affidavit, by lying about your relationship with the donor, and by coaching the donor to lie. You, Senator E.K. Ekramadu, and you, Dr. Beatrice Ekramadu, have a daughter, Sonia. She is very ill. She is suffering from FSGS, nephrotic syndrome. She needs a kidney transplant. Everybody has enormous sympathy for her and for the impact on each of you seeing your daughter's suffering. Sonia's uncle, Diwe Ekromadu knew Abina Abeta from medical school. He got in touch. Abina Abeta offered to help find a donor. A possible donor was identified. By law, his name may not be published. I will call him C. C grew up in a village where he had no electricity or running water. He left school at the age of 15 and he went to Lagos where he sold phone accessories from a wheelbarrow in a market. He was earning about 3,500 naira a day, the equivalent of just seven pounds. Tests in Nigeria showed that his blood group was the same as Sonia. He agreed to come to the UK. I am sure 
that he did not at any point agree to donate a kidney to Sonia altruistically. There was no reason why he should do so. He was not related to your family. He did not know Sonia or any other member of your family. Nothing was put in place to secure his future health care needs if he donated a kidney. The wealth and power inequality